maybe the fastest surfer that we've seen the last couple of days. I mean, that's a big statement. All these guys surf really quickly, but he's been bringing a new brand of high-performance ripping uh, over at Winky Pop. We'll see if he can translate that to the bowl today. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Winky Pop's a different wave. It is faster. It is more down the line. I feel like bells, you really have to place your turns. You have to be a little bit more patient. Morgan Siblick, Matthew McGillivray, first matchup on the championship tour together. And the man from Newcastle starts off with a bang. His signature fin throw off the top. Speed float to cover some ground on the giddy up to get to that section. And he will now try to emerge in the open face. Out in front now, here comes the fade. Already getting distracted with what's coming out the back and he'll probably be setting up a ride for the water patrol. Back to work there, couple taps and He's able to accomplish the first wave of quarterfinal number one. No, they're not going to take it serious. <laughs> serious. So this is a beautiful first wave from Morgs. I loved what I saw here. His board, once again, is looking so good. Comes flying around that section. And you could just tell that he was... He wanted more here at the end. I know he wanted that sort of exclamation finish. He had a really good start to this wave. And break it down again here from this water angle but he was able to go straight up into the lip and i love the release that he's been able to get on his tail this whole week down at winky it's looked incredible and right now it just looks like it's translating really well to the bowl but this is the maneuver i'm talking about just he just does it with ease and so much control as soon as those fins start sliding out i mean it's it is tricky to get a wrangle on that and then go straight up into this lip line floater still maintaining so much speed here I'm interested to see where this is going to go it's going to be pretty telling because compared to Maddie's McGillivray with the answer float down the line layback hack there with some water moving off the top and he's able to get going enough for a serious climb hack there on the end section as we look at the opener from McGillivray. Yeah, this is the wave I wanted to see. Beautiful lip line there. Layback jam in the pocket. Nice variation. And gets it up there one last time. It was really late. You can see he wanted to get around this section as we go out the back to live action. McGillivray up again. Quick connection on a big section. Into a nice wrap. Two turns already for the South African. There's the fade. Section's looking fun in front of him. Goes straight up to shut it down. So these guys feeling the energy. Matthew told us it was going to be blow for blow when they realized they'd be in the draw. They actually predicted it early. Heats in the round of 16. This would be the matchup, and they're enjoying it already. Yeah, so this one here, I believe, is Maddie's opening wave. So starts... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. This is his second wave. And... I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Matty, so he's getting great projection there up over the lip. Into the excellent range. Gabby made a mistake with priority, and Caitlin made her pay for it as she's in the semifinals. Here comes McGillivray looking for a late oh. punt off that section. He still gets it. Impressed with his ability above the lip, and even when he's just using a closeout whitewater section, not your typical ramp, and just shows how great he is with his footwork and his technique going to come close as we just look at Maddie here. This is his little air that he got done. Went up into that so late. And look how far forward his feet are on the board there. See his front foot is right up near the nose. And just lands that with uh, a lot of ease. Four to six foot on the face with Siblick with priority. Needs a 5.85 five for a lead change. Pushing off the bottom. Quick sweep through the white water. Extending the bottom turn into the open face. Wraps it, then a oh. little snap climb on the white water. And now the Australian fades. The wild card trying to get a spot in the semifinals. Throws down that jam on the inside wall. He's got more room to move. Hits it off the top and will step out of there. Both surfers are fired up. Surfing incredibly well. Let's have a look here. You can see that this wave 
just able to go straight up to live. He just gets that fin release so easy. He's got great control, weight, great weight distribution from that front foot weight to that back foot weight. And Wade gets a little bit sleepier here, but he stays with it because you can obviously see this one's going to stand up down the line. He gets a bit of a finish here, which he hasn't really got. He didn't get on that first wave. Keeps going through to the inside here. Gets another little release. So... Oh, it's cool catching up with Ryan Callen and talking about Bells. He lost to his friend Morgan Siblick, who's up now. Nice glide through that coping. Snaps it out in front again. Driving into a big blow tail reverse. He gets tangled up and is down. Made this last maneuver. I want to say this was just... This wave here was beautifully surfed. It was a smaller one. He went straight up into the lip here. And again, just gets that beautiful tail release that we like to watch. But this section here where he just puts it all online, that tail release, he's been making things like this all week, especially down at Winky. I thought he was home and hosed. I thought that this was going to be a win for sure here. But Matty won it 7-6, to 6, 3, 3 and that was a major difference in this heat. When it came to backup scores, it was incredibly close down to the wire.